5 Tips That Can Help You In For Honor Tip 1. Blinking Enemy Means Teammates Tag when you're in a gank scenario, you have to watch the tag system. Every attack that you or your teammate do applies to tag. You can see it by the blinking white animation on top of the emblem. You or your teammate can apply as many attacks as you want all day. As long as your teammate doesn't attack, they won't get revenge. This is why most of the time people end up wondering why they're not getting revenge while there's two people. If you watch for this, you can see that the revenge meter only goes up when I attack. Make sure to watch out for the blinking light and then when you guys have successfully done a gank, then you guys can watch and wait five seconds or wait till the tags wear off. The tags are worn off when you see the white light stop blinking and you guys can continue a gank again. Tip two, don't throw an opponent to the wall with a teammate around or let teammate get their punishing. When you or your teammate throw somebody into a wall and then a second heavy is applied, it is reduced. You do not get the full amount of damage and you just feed revenge by doing so. So either don't throw them against the wall and just do a full punish or just let the teammates throw them against the wall. Tip 3. Walk down the enemy's side when leaving a point you own. When you own a point and you want to make sure you can go and leave to go help out a teammate but you're not sure where everybody's at, one of the best things that you can do is leave on their side. In case somebody tries to come up to contest, you can see them coming up, or you can just avoid them coming in general. But if you just leave on your side, then you're not going to see the potential person trying to back up or do anything of the sort. Tip number four, matching numbers. In competitive, one of the first things that we were taught was to always match numbers. If you see yourself on a point and you don't know where everybody's at, you can count, you can see everybody from the top, you can try to find out where they're at, and if they are four on a point, if they're two in mid, two in the point, and you're alone, then you're just leaving, leaving yourself out of a fight that you could be potentially helping your teammates in. Nobody's going to come back up. You can see that nobody's coming. You should go and help out. Or, if you don't know where everybody's at, you stay on that point until you know where everybody's at. Is this clip you can see me leaving once I realized where everybody was and I wasn't going to get danger of somebody back capping the point. Tip number five, don't add yourself to a fight when you have two people already ganking. Whether or not you or your teammates know how to gank in a coordinated fashion, you should never add yourself as a third party to that team fight. You should always just let them gank and just either look out for somebody coming in or just let them do their thing because you adding another person onto it isn't going to kill them any quicker. You adding yourself to it just endangers you guys from him getting revenge and being able to stall longer. What I suggest is if you're not part of that fight, you either leave to go somewhere else or you make sure that nobody is going to get in the way of that point. So you connect to somebody coming in uh, or make sure they just are not allowed to stop that gank from happening. That's one of the things that you can do. Uh, it'll help you out a lot and rather than feeding revenge and then your teammates getting mad at you for doing so. These are just basic tips for anybody who doesn't know this kind of stuff. Uh, if you know it, great. If you don't know them, then I hope they help. You don't necessarily need to follow them by the T, but just uh, look out for this kind of stuff. It's It'll help you guys out a lot in the in the game.